Welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and this week we're going to install this new keyless RV lock in our camper door. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel and thank you very much for watching. Understand if you're new to Grand Adventure, we are full-time RVers who travel all across the country during the spring, summer, and fall months to be able to explore and film for you beautiful cinematic travel episodes for you to enjoy and to inspire your own RV travel. However, during the winter months, we remain stationary in our RV in Utah to be able to enjoy the ski season. And as a result, we're not out traveling, so we're not able to film those beautiful cinematic travel episodes. Instead, during the winter months, we focus on how-tos and gear reviews to enhance your own RV experience. And this week, we're doing one of those such episodes where we're going to enhance our own RV experience, and that's by installing a keyless RV entry lock from Kori. Now, you may be familiar with the more famous RV lock brand that you see advertised all over the place. And we're not sponsored by Kori. This episode is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. We went out and bought this just like everybody else. However, the reason we selected Kori is, well, there are actually about three reasons that we did over the big name brand. For one thing, it comes at a significantly lower cost. For another, the big name brand has several grades and the one that is closer in cost to this one is made of 50% plastic, whereas the Kori is entirely made of metal. For another reason, the, the numbers on the keypad, which have a habit of wearing off if you review, read the reviews of those big name RV locks, uh, these won't wear off because they're sublimated under a hard layer of clear plastic. Finally, I have enough in my pocket. My key ring is out of control already as it is. I already have two wireless key fobs on there and I didn't want to add a third one to that. Instead, the Kori uses your phone via a Bluetooth connection. So I can wirelessly lock and unlock the door from inside my truck as long as I'm in close proximity using my cell phone, which I always have on me anyway. However, I can still use the keypad to lock and unlock the door, and I can also use a physical key. Let's take a look at what comes inside the box before we set about installing this at our fifth wheel's door. So let's take a look at what we have inside the box. Take off that sleeve. Nope, oh, other side. And there's a note, user manual sitting right on top. Uh, over here, we've got what appear to be four AA batteries. Yep, and they're actual real Duracell. Uh, I'm glad to see they're not using cheap batteries that I'd have to replace right away. Although, they are OEM batteries and aren't quite printed the same way as what you'd find in the store, but they are real Duracells. Now let's pull this out, and here we have the oh, couple of striker plates. And let's get the lock unit itself out of this bubble wrap. And there are the two halves, the inside and outside half. Here we've got the keys, physical keys, screws, and a recharge cable. You can actually recharge batteries in this unit. And here are our two halves. But you see the back side, the inside, and then the outside of the interior. So, let's get to work in installing this. So the first step is going to be to remove these two screws to access the battery compartment. Just tip this over. Get this out. Oh, I didn't get that screw out completely. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we got the two screws out. 
pop off this battery cover. Now I did mention that you can also charge these batteries via USB. Um, I wouldn't do that with alkaline, which are the ones that are supplied here. I would definitely reserve that for either NICAD batteries or lithium iron ion batteries, excuse me. And we'll just put these two screws back in. Easier said than done. Something wrong there, and I'm going to strip that screw. So we're going to do that with a manual screwdriver. Anyway. Sometimes when you're filming yourself doing things, it doesn't quite turn out the way you planned. Next up, I'm just going to test this and put the two connectors together and verify that we have power. Yep, we got power. All right, so let's get the old door latch removed from the door. So these four screws are what actually hold the old door latch in place. I'm simply going to remove those. cold out. I don't want to open this door any more than I have to. Well, that's one way to get it out. Now we'll remove the old striker plate. And we should be able to just simply slide out the old door latch. Yep, right out the front as we drop all kinds of pieces. In order to use this particular door lock, the opening must be 2.75 inches wide, 3.75 inches tall, and no more than one and a half inches thick. Perfect. Perfect and perfect. We'll take the front half of the door handle, just fish the wire through the hole. And we'll put on the new strike pipe. Now we'll connect this wiring harness again, just like we did previously. That connects the two halves. And we'll tuck all that excess wiring back up into this voided area. Easier said than done, but we'll get it. And then we just connect the two halves with the four provided screws.
Finally, we're going to replace our old striker plate with the one that came with the Kori lock. I think that my long, successful career as a ham model may finally be over. All that's left to do is to program our own personal code into the door lock. And you can see those keys I was talking about uh, where they're not going to wear off. Anyway, you hold down the 8 and the lock key for two seconds and that puts you into programming mode. I'm going to enter the default code 1234 followed by the lock. Now I'm going to put in a personal code 5678 followed by the lock and I'm going to confirm 5678 followed by lock. Now, all we need to do is hold down the lock button to lock the door. Let's double check. Yep, it's locked. Now, in order to unlock, just put in our code 5678 and unlock, and the door should be able to be opened. By the way, that keypad is illuminated at night, so you can easily see it in the dark. So I've kind of got a rule when we film one of these how-to episodes, and that's what I call the film factor. If you film anything, it takes you three times as long to do it. My dropping and fumbling things throughout this video notwithstanding. If I remove the film factor, this probably took us about 15 minutes to install. So it's super easy to do. You just have to make sure that the cutout in your door matches the cutout uh, specified by the Kori uh, keyless entry system. And that cutout is fairly standard. I think that you'll find that 95 out of 100 times, you will have the proper size cutout. Uh, we've been really happy with this so far. It's available on Amazon at the time that we're filming this video for 109 bucks. We'll put a link right uh, here on the screen and in the video description down below to the Grand Adventure Shop on Amazon, where we will feature this Kori lock. It costs you no more to shop Amazon through Grand Adventure than it does any other way. Grand Adventure simply earns a small commission on each sale to help bring you more and better videos each and every week. Uh, so we'd be very appreciative if you decided that you would like to install the Kori lock in your RV to make the purchase through the Grand Adventure Shop on Amazon. We hope you liked this episode. We hope that you found the information useful. If you like this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. That is extremely important to us. And while you're down below, you'll find the comments section where we'd love to hear from you after each grand adventure. And also, we'll be there to answer any questions or comments that you have about this Code Relock system. We air new outdoor RV adventure travel videos each and every Wednesday. So if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer yourself, now is the perfect time for you to go smash that little subscribe button right down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. And ring that notification bell to be sure that you never miss a Grand Adventure. We'd also be truly honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. So until next Wednesday, please remember, life is nothing but a Grand Adventure. We'll see you then.